how you can take backup of emails in MS Outlook. To take a backup in MS Outlook, you have to go in Control Panel. In Control Panel, you have to go under Mail option and then open the data file. Select Personal Folder and click on Open Folder. After that, you have to copy and have to paste it wherever you want to backup. What is bus speed? The rate of communication speed between microprocessor and RAM is known as bus speed. Name the Active Directory Partitions. There are three types of Active Directory Partitions. Schema Partition, Configuration Partition and Domain Partition. What is B Router? B Router means Bridge Router to provide communication between two or more different networks like computer to computer or computer to internet B Router is used. What is Packet? A packet is a logical grouping of information that comprises a header which contains user data and location information. What is SCSI? SCSI stands for Small Computer System Interface. It is a standard electronic interface that allows personal computers to communicate with peripheral hardware such as disk drive, tape drive, printers, CD-ROM drives. In SCSI, the rate of data transmission is fast. How many classes are there for IP addresses and what are the ranges? They are segregated into 5 classes. Class A 0 to 126. Class B 128 to 191. Class C 192 to 223. Class D 224 to 239. And Class E 240 to 255. What is the difference between incremental backup and differential backup? Differential backups will select only files that are changed since the last backup. Incremental backups will select only the data that has changed since the last backup. What is the difference between the MSI file and EXE file? MSR allow install, uninstall and repair the program with a single file while exe file needs two files to install and uninstall the software. Also, exe file is able to detect the existing version of the software and give option to user to uninstall the program while MSI will instruct the user to the use Add and remove program in control panel to remove the existing product first and then you can install the new program. What is BSOD? How do you troubleshoot it? BSOD stands for Blue Screen of Death. When there is some fault in OS or hardware, then Windows cannot run the program and gives a blue screen with code. To resolve this problem, the best way is to reboot the system. If it doesn't work, then boot the system in the safe mode. What is bootloader? Bootloader facilitates the loading of operating system on the system. It enables the booting process and gives OS option to the users while starting the system.
what is RIS and why you use RIS. RIS stands for Remote Installation Services. It is used to install image from a Windows server to a new hardware. We use RIS because installing OS every time using a CD will be more time consuming. What is SMTP server or POP server? POP stands for Post Office Protocol. It is basically used for sending and receiving the mail. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It is used for mail receiving purpose in the network. What is reservation in DHCP? Basically, the term reservation is used in DHCP server. Some network equipment or computer system needs a specific IP address. In such case, we make a reservation in DHCP server for that particular computer system. By creating reservation, it gives access to that particular IP address and at the same time prevents other computer system to use that IP address. What is PTR record? This program record is used to check if the server name is connected with the IP address. It is exactly opposite to the A record. This record is basically created in reverse lookup zone. So it is also known as reverse DNS record or pointer record. What is the difference between server OS and desktop OS? Server OS gives centralized administration for users, shared resources and security while desktop OS gives access to only local administration. Explain the term SID. SID stands for Security Identifier. Every computer object has a unique ID which is known as SIT. Explain the term Fixed MBR. Fixed MBR is a repair tool. It repairs the master boot record of partition boot sector. What is the major difference you can mention about gateway and router? Gateway works on different network architecture and router works on same network architecture. How many logical drive is possible to fit onto a physical disk? The maximum number of logical drive that can fit on physical disk is 24 while the extended partition can only have 23 logical drives. Watch our other videos. If you have any questions, leave a comment. We will answer it in next Q&A videos. Support us. Like, share, comment, subscribe and press the bell icon.